Thank you for calling machine.com. Be machini.com in the flesh in the house with the oh my god blue E63S wagon AMG straight out of the German Autobahn right to your house the wagon version the hammer wagon 603 horsepower 627 foot pounds of torque from a beast that can get you the kids and the dog wherever you need to go this particular car zero to 60 in about 3.1 to 3.2 seconds you may get lucky on some streets and get threes quarter mile times looking in the 11 1 11 2 range 126 to 128 miles per hour some of the things that I like about this vehicle, look at the 20 inch wheels, my lord God, standing out in charge. Looks like they're putting P0s on everything now. No offense, manufacturers may have got a discount because Michelin's are better in my opinion, but it is what it is. In the back, we got 295s. And let's see the stagger setup. You know how the Germans do it. It's always a stagger. 265s up in the front for the tire size again if you're trying to get away fast and you got a lot of people and you ne don't necessarily need something that's higher up off the ground then this is the car for you multi-purpose inside what we have in the engine bay a four liter twin turbo v8 made it to mercedes-benz's in-house nine speed transmission also, some of the appointments that you get with this car, I mentioned the 627 foot-pound of torque. You're also getting some of that luxury inside. We're gonna we're gonna take a peek from the outside in. Oh my lord! Now Mercedes has went away from this design. We saw the latest S-Class kind of change the game up. So now they're gonna be changing the interiors. I still like this better because I got to get used to the new S-Class. But for me, if it's all-purpose. This is the wagon to go for the AMG 63S. Other things we got to take a peek at competitor wise, Audi RS6 and BMW has nothing that competes against this vehicle. If you're looking for some older models that may play ball, maybe the CTSV wagon, but it's so old they didn't make it again. That's the only thing that really is in comparison to a wagon with this much power. Now, some people may say the Panorama Turbo S Gran Turismo may be a competitor to this car. I think there's a size difference. I think the Panorama is just in its own league. However, because there's no one left but the RS6, we got to throw the Panamera GT in there, assuming the Gran Turismo in there as a competitor. Let's look at the design. One of the flaws I think that a lot of people think this car has is the rear haunches kind of old school box like it's not really sexy sexy for me i find it attractive but compared to that rs6 it's kind of tough right the ball game's tough when you look at the rs6 but again still an attractive vehicle this one has again folding mirrors again with the light signal more roof sunroof got a big radies rise that's a local guy who's getting who's, who's real big now on youtube so Rady's Rise signal or, or uh, merch on there. Go ahead and buy that if you need to buy that. I love the blue paint. Looks like a matte blue paint on this thing. And that really stands out to me in this car. Things of uh, the M, M infotainment system inside, we're not gonna get in there. I mean, that's really, really where Mercedes is laying claim to the leaders of the pack when you come into interior entertainment right when a look perspective because i went into this before even though the infotainment doesn't necessarily have i would say the fit and finish 
of let's say an Audi or BMW, when you look at this thing, it stands out. I mean, this has all the makeup, the eyelashes, everything you're looking for. It looks damn good, just even looking from the outside here. You can see the controls there on the, uh, the toggle switches, your cruise control, even has some of your uh, home functions there. On the other side, standard, your phone, voice control, and then toggles your two, two screen Mercedes-Benz infotainment system. And they're huge. I mean, if you can't see that, go get cataracts, man. You're going blind. Going to the back, I'm gonna continue back on the exterior. I really like this quad exhaust tips. I mean, this freaking nuts. Look at that. Then it has that carbon fiber touch at the end. Look at the diffuser. The diffuser work is pretty sexy on this as well. And I don't know who the, maybe maybe the owner is Radies Rods. Who knows? Actually, this, oh, he got a manufacturer. So this is a, this is a manufactured car. So he's probably testing it. You probably see it on his channel. Go check it out if you see him. But uh, again, this matte blue hammer wagon touches all the points for me out of Germany. We're thinking of making a trip out there next year, get an Autobahn trip to Germany. And this is one of those things we would like to take and get up to full speed. Top speed on this thing is about 189, 190 miles per hour, limited. Uh, quick tune, 2,000 bucks. We take care of you at machine.com. I'll take care of you. We'll get you up to 200, no problem in this wagon, even with the aerodynamics the way it is. Front, front splitter, nothing too outlandish. Again, it's a sleeper car. Carbon fiber up there. The new design has a squinted, squinted uh, headlight, a little bit different. Uh, this one is pretty standard. Has your MB badging on the top. And be badging there, and that's the um, Panamera design, Panamera Americana design that they got up front with that logo. That's where that came from. So, in all, from a wagon perspective, this E63 AMG S, this sexy wagon in the matte blue, get it while you can. Running about 109,000 brand new. Obviously, that's not fully spec'd out, but I think. From a speed perspective, a sleeper perspective, this is the top wagon you can get. Yes, faster than the RS6 currently. There's no plus version yet. And faster than the Gran Turismo Panorama Turbo. This is your option here for the wagons. Machine.com, a sign off right here. Sign up and subscribe. Thank you.